Well, the family in North Tonawanda was struck with the unthinkable, the loss of their daughter, 16-year-old Taylor Woolston. But now they're turning that tragedy into hope for others while honoring her amazing legacy. Tonight, we are joined by Taylor's father next to me here, Chris Woolston, along with the organizers, Jeanette Hansen, TJ Meredith, and Caitlin Sladesky, along with Kimberly LaRusso, of course, from Sweet Buffalo. Thank you all for being here. I first want to just touch on Taylor. Tell me about Taylor, everything about her. I know we don't have a ton of time, and she sounds like a beautiful <coughs> young lady. She was. She was, uh, <coughs> she was 16 years old when she passed away. She had epilepsy. Um, that we battled for a long time, and uh, unfortunately, we lost the battle on, on January 1st, 2023. Um, she had a seizure in the middle of the night that we didn't catch and nobody heard, and uh, unfortunately, it took her life. Um, and that was, she was seizure free for eight and a half years. Very active in sports. She loved animals. She wanted to be a teacher. She was in the process of starting to be good in that step to, in high school to become a teacher. Um, and she got cut short from a lot of stuff because of this. Yeah. So. Taylor's stepsister over here, um, obviously she meant a lot to you. Do you mm -hmm. want to talk a little bit about your sister? Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeanette, I you were, time. <laughs> she's greatly missed and it's okay to show that passion. She obviously was a wonderful young person. You were her softball coach, Jeanette. I was. You wanted to help, you know, bring out this this amazing tribute um, to to show people around Western New York how amazing she was. Tell me what you guys have put together in her honor. Oh, goodness. So <laughs> the first year we had a basket raffle and chowder sale and a, a huge benefit. And the, the, several of the things that we've done are we've given the lacrosse because she was very active in lacrosse. We gave last year's seniors um, scholarships for five hundred dollars each. It's amazing. Um, we sponsored the North Tonawanda Recreation Department Department for prom night. Uh, we have sponsored several children in the community um, through North Tonawanda Athletic Association, where she was very active in cheer. Um, so we have sponsored some too. children there. Wow. Um, we. Um, Oh goodness, we've done a Chris, couple memorials. Chris, you can join in on this too. I'll let Chris go ahead. Both tell of the rest. you. Tell we've us. Uh, this year uh, it was her senior year, so we decided her number was number six in lacrosse. So we're giving out six scholarships this year through the school system for fifteen hundred dollars a piece. Wow. Um, as well as another six scholarships, that the six people who get the first scholarships get to pick six more people, and they get a five hundred dollars scholarship as well. So we're actually twelve kids are getting scholarships from us this year as well as the seniors from the lacrosse team again. Uh, because this is her senior year this year, we're giving to the prom. We're also giving to the after party for the prom. Oh my goodness. Um, I don't know that I've seen a family give back this much. Hmm. Truly. Every penny that goes into the foundation goes back into the community. Wow. Every single penny. So we would like mm -hmm. to make this year, because it was Taylor's senior year, as memorable as we can and continue to touch people the way that Taylor did in the community. Could you explain how you're raising money this year? What is the event? And either Jeanette or Chris, you know, explain what this is. We're having another uh, benefit. It's a 5K run. We're calling it the Color Cow Run. She loved cows. Um, and <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a Color Cow Run this year, a 5K run, as long as a basket raffle and chowder sale as well. Wow, and when is that? Uh, May 19th at Rescue Fire Hall in North Tonawanda, New York. Okay. And it goes from 10 a.m. till 3 p.m. Can people show up? Do show they have up, to sign up? up? If you want show to register, up. they can go on Facebook and touch by Taylor on our Facebook account. They can click on the link there and they can register on that. Um, or they can contact any one of these ladies that can help them through it as well. And as well as our email. Um, Taylor's uncle is on the other side over here, TJ. Yes. TJ, what does it mean? I mean, I'm gonna show the, the camera really quick all of the things that have, you, you call them touches. Um, all the ways you've touched. Look at this list here. It's a long list. What does this mean, TJ, to you that you have touched so many people in the name of Taylor? I mean, it means a lot to us because Taylor was always there. Taylor loved kids. I mean, I wish she was just still around. She loved my four-year-old son, Crew, and it just means a lot that we're able to give back to the community. It's awesome. In her name. In her name, yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep saying her name. Yep. I love that. Forever. Yeah. <laughs> 
All right, thank you guys so much. Thanks thank for you. what you're doing. We will make sure to put this on our website, wivb.com. Kimberly, I'm sorry we didn't get a t chance to talk okay. to you, <laughs> but we have this amazing family here telling their story, and I want to hear from them. So, and I'll make sure that we get a camera out to this event of yours, too, because it thank sounds like so a fun much. one. Thank you. Yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you for having us. Of course. All right, coming up, a brand new state of the art hotel.